Hello and welcome to some more of my adventures. So I was trundling along the road over there somewhere and I saw a brown sign that said Huffington Huffington White Horse. I thought, what's that? Now I know that the UK has quite a few white horses carved into the hillside, but I found out that this was the oldest. So because it's so unique and I've never seen one close up before, I thought I'd come along. It's half past eight on a Sunday morning in winter, nearly winter. And uh, why not? I don't know what to expect, it's, but uh, I'll tell you all about it when I get there. The usual culprits of sheep are here. You can actually see it, you probably can't see it very clearly, but it's just over there. It's just here, you probably can't see it, but just there is uh, some wind turbines. And it's just a little bit of the space age coming into our countryside. I really like them. But look at that long, flat slab of land. All the different segments owned by somebody, some farmer. The fields are separated by lines of trees. You definitely feel like you're watching over somewhere standing here. I'm not even at the top of the hill yet. Just coming up to a road which leads to a little parking area over there. I wish I'd known I'd have driven up there. Uh, what's this over here? Well, it's uh, very weather beaten. Environmentally friendly, sure, but almost unintelligible. <sighs> English heritage. Well, we're well, great. Thank you for the sign, uh, but it's, uh, it's useless. <laughs> could be worse. It could be a, a plastic sign, which will end up in, in the dolphins. Forget the sign. Look at that. Who cares what they all, all these little bits are? So peaceful here. There are like these um, birds of prey hovering, looking for their breakfast. You see them everywhere. I, I, I'd love to give you a shot of them, but I don't have the zoom lens at the moment. I might try and get it later, but they're, um, I don't know what they are, kites, kestrels. I don't know anything about birds. What a view. I mean, it's, it's, it's more than 180 degrees of pure landscape. I don't know how far I can see, but I think it's quite far. Right, this is the last leg. This wonderful pathway so that everybody can get access. You might even be able to push a wheelchair up here. Sheep grazing. Please keep dogs under control. How about you keep your sheep under control? Dogs having fun. Please keep your sheep under control. Doesn't really work, does it? Ooh. Already you can see kind of the chalk in the pathway here. Dirty white. These chalk hillsides. Amazing. There you go, that's, that's what I've just climbed. Doesn't translate, that's really steep. It's not really steep, but I do love a good climb. I'm on my blood pressure. I'll take it easy, I'm gonna keep stopping. That's where I was a minute ago, just down there. Just over there I can see part of the horse. I'm gonna keep going up here and go around to the head of the horse. Whew. This is the last leg of the last leg. And there you go, ladies and gents, ladies and gents, can you see it? It, lo it looks like a, <laughs> a series of pathways. But that is the image of a horse. 
very primitive horse. The National Trust have put this uh, like rope here, uh, which has fallen down over here completely. I imagine it's been pushed over because although it is a protected site, I think to be fair, just to, just uh, but sheep are allowed to wander on this, by the way, they can with their hooves. So I'm just going to step over here and just have a little bit of a closer look. Somebody's laid some flowers here. That's interesting. Why? Okay. But there it is. Highly compacted chalk. And that's the head of it. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Are you amazed yet? So, how old is it? Well, the answer is 3,000 years old, is what they think. Uh, they dug trenches about a meter deep and inserted chalk blocks. Just been consulting my research team, Wikipedia. Uh, the Alphington White Horse is a, a prehistoric hill. It's 110 meters long, uh, formed from, as I say, deep trenches, uh, trenches built with crushed white chalk on the top. This is called White Horse Hill, I wonder why. Now, I'm calling it a horse. Of course, it's not absolutely, nobody really knows if it is a horse. It's, it's, it's long been depicted as a horse, but it's, it's debatable. It could be a, a saber-toothed cat or a dog, but it's been called a horse since the 11th century. Uh, so a horse it is. So it's kind of maintained, um, I imagine, from by people basically getting down on their hands and knees and giving it a good scrub and giving it a clean. But it is suffering from wind erosion. It suffers from uh, the, the animals, people like me coming and filming it, um, and people putting flowers on it like, like, like they are doing. I, can't think, I don't think that would be particularly helpful. Uh, so I'm going to stay off it and uh, try and respect what it is, uh, which is that it's an amazing, amazing thing. The land you can see on the horizon is Oxfordshire. So, hello Oxfordshire. Well then. The, the way they dated it was they removed some, some ground chalk from the beak of the horse. That, I don't know horses had beaks, but that's what they did. And they uh, sort of carbon dated it, I guess, to confirm that it was Bronze Age. Think of all the different generations and all the different ages we've had that have gone, gone through in the last 3,000 years of humanity. And of all of them have come and visited this in some form or other, Victorians. Uh, I'm surprised nobody saw it as evil and decided that they had to be destroyed. That, you know, religion would get involved, but it survived. And that, I think it's just phenomenal that, you know, we, we, we see things like this and we think, you know, that's worth preserving. Because it is. And I'm sure that a lot of people come here and they might get bored quite quickly but you just have to get your head around the amount of time that has been there and how long and how many millions of eyes from human beings across the ages have looked at it I don't know it blows my history um, blows my mind however it's not always been visible to the human eye because during the war they covered it up with turf because uh, our friends over in the, <laughs> in Germany uh, would have found it easy picking. Get the horse! It's Einstein and den Horsen! Is what they would have shouted in their airplanes. So in order to protect it, even during the war, we were protecting our, our buildings and our, our landmarks and our history. And um, I think that's quite amazing. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it'll ever get covered up again in the future. I, I hope it doesn't have to be. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know down in the comments section. If you've got any questions, uh, then please, by all means, ask me. I'm not a historian, though. Uh, but maybe you can tell me some things or tell each other some things. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and please do subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload my next video. Because um, I am making a whole bunch right now. I'm on the road, as it were. So thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed it, till next time, cheerio.